Welcome to the homework for grade three, module two. This is lesson one. Get your name on here first. You won't remember to do it later, so get it done now. And number one, we're looking at some data here. The data is just the information. And it says here, the table to the right shows how much time it takes each of the five students to run 100 meters. So when they talk about tables, this is a table right here. That's a table. It's not a piece of furniture. It's uh, <clears throat> organized in rows and columns. And this sometimes it has titles for each column or, or for the rows. But uh, this one doesn't. You can just see. Here's Samantha, and that's her time. And here's Melanie, and that's her time. And Chester, and that's his time. So you see what the table is. And keep in mind that this is backwards. Time for like who's the fastest is the who's the fastest like this one. Hey, who's the fastest runner? They're all running 100 meters. So whoever is the fastest runner is going to be the one in the, the, the fewest number of seconds. Whoever does it faster, they're finishing first, so it takes them less time than someone who finishes last. So we're looking for the smallest number, and Samantha is the fastest because she's only got 19 seconds. Samantha is the fastest. She ran in 19 seconds. I'll just write SEC short for seconds. Who is the slowest runner? The slowest runner is going to be whoever took the longest to do it. So that's going to be the Chester right here. Chester. Took 26 seconds. SEC. He is slowest. And how many seconds faster did Samantha run than Louie? So, <coughs> Samantha is faster. This, you, this is going to be this kind of thinking is going to be different because everything's backwards because less is better when you know when you're trying talking about speed so how many seconds faster was samantha she's not going to have more time she's going to be less right so louie had 24 seconds this is louie and this is going to be samantha right so we're talking about seconds here samantha's going to have fewer seconds than louie so louie's going to have more and we want to know the difference here is going to be this is the more and if that's more then Samantha is going to have the less right and that's what we need to know it's gonna be the same right so we know how far how much time it took Louie Louie was all of 24 seconds and Samantha's time, 19 seconds. So we have to find out the difference between 24 and 19. And that's going to be, that's what's going to be the difference. The more or the less are going to be the same. 24 minus 19. Which those numbers are close enough. You could count them up from 19. And you're going to get 5. So Samantha is five seconds faster. Five seconds faster than Louis. <clears throat> So that's what you should have for this. You got to have your statement that I just wrote. 
This is your statement. You have to have that, right? Because we're RDWing this. It's RDW for all word problems. You have to have some kind of a picture, either a number, a labeled number bond or this tape diagram. And you got to have a number sentence. That's the writing the number sentence. And you got you have to have all of that to answer that question. Number two. List activities at home that take about the following amounts of time to complete. If you don't have a stopwatch, you can use a strategy of counting by 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, because it takes about a second for you to say a number in Mississippi. It takes about one second for you to say that. So if you count, then you can pretty much be counting seconds pretty closely. So 30 seconds is half a minute. None of these are very long. 30 seconds is half a minute. 45 seconds is almost a minute. And 60 seconds is a whole minute. So if you can tie, if you're in third grade, you can tie your shoelaces in 30 seconds. You're doing pretty well with that. I will leave it up to you to find your own time that it takes you to tie your shoes. I can tie mine faster than 30 seconds. But it's all going to be different for you. So these are short times. Just find like a few things that take close to about 30. It doesn't have to be exactly 30 or exactly 45, but about 45 or so. A little bit less than a minute. And just figure those out on your own. Number three. Match the analog clock with the correct digital clock. I'm going to work on some colors here. Uh, thinking about the Judy clocks that we use in school. We use the, the hour hands are short, and those are usually colored red for the Judy clocks. And the blue hands, the uh, minute hands are long, and those are usually colored blue. So I'm just going to color in the hour hands red, and the minute hands will be blue. Blue. There. Uh, uh, uh. And that'll help. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes third graders have a uh, difficulty with this mixing up minute and hour hands. And digital time. The thing to remember about digital time is the hour comes first. That's to the left of the colon. The colon's that little those little two dots in the middle. The hour comes first, and the minutes come second. So this would be seven hours and five minutes. So we're seven o'clock and five minutes more. So for that one, here's what we're looking for. Look for an hour hand that says seven o'clock. Now it might not be exactly on the seven. It might just be between the seven and the eight. If it's if it's in the in between, then that means it's seven o'clock, but it's it's in between seven and eight. It's not eight o'clock yet, it's still seven. And so here's the only one that has an hour hand on the 7 down here. We can match that one up. 11 o'clock is just going to have the hour hand on the 11 and the blue hand straight up to the 12. That's this guy here. And 10.15, we're looking for hour hand on the 10. Minute hand would be 15 minutes. There's no 15 on the clock face. But you'll see where we look at the 10 up here, it's 5, 10, 15. Every, every number on the clock face is skip counting 5 minutes. So that's 3 fives, 15. There. And then the last one, 250. The hour hand on this one, because when you're in this section of the clock face, when you're up here in the 9... 10, 11, 12. When you're up there, you're almost at the next hour, but not yet. So you look at this 50. That's only 10 minutes before 3 o'clock. So the hour hand is look like is going to look like it's pointing right at the 3. It's almost 3, but it's not 3 yet. It's still 2. So that's why it looks like it's 350, but really it's 250. If it was 350, this clock here, the hour hand would be almost at the 4.